Welcome back. In the first part, I started to explain the principles around choosing appropriate indicators to allow you to exploit the edge that your system premise is providing you with. I then went on to talk about how the use of relative based indicators are far more useful generally to algo traders than absolute value indicators. So let's now take a look at a couple of examples of why that is. So I have here two charts, one for the euro dollar and one for the Dow Jones. Now, obviously, both of these instruments trade at very different values. And so for the Dow, that's trading at about 30,000, whereas with euro dollar, that's trading at about 1.2. And because of that, any absolute calculation indicators we're using will have very, very different ranges. So a good example of that is the ATR, or the average true range that you can see here in yellow. So for euro dollar, this is trading in this particular chart time frame between about 0 0.005 and 0 0.01. Whereas if we take a look at that on the same time frame, but for the Dow Jones, you can see it's very different. Now it's trading between 282 and 815. Now I've chosen two instruments here with very different prices to illustrate the point. But you'll also get this anomaly if you're trading forex pairs. So for example, if you're trading any of the yen pairs, they will typically have a very different value compared with some of the euro and the dollar pairs. And the point here, remember, for algo traders is that if you're optimizing a multi-symbol EA and you're looking for the optimal parameter values for a particular indicator, then you can't do that if you're using this type of absolute calculation indicator. Because how can you possibly look for the best value across multiple symbols when they have such a different range? Now compare that to the stochastic indicator, which is below. And as we said before, this is a bounded indicator. So it always ranges between zero and 100. And that will be the same regardless of the asset that you're trading and also regardless of the time frame. So this is on the daily. But if I go down to the five minute time frame, again, it still ranges between zero and 100. And the beauty of this for any algo trader is that it means we can have that ability to optimize multi-symbol EAs across a wide range of different asset classes and timeframes, which gives us that added statistical significance and in turn will produce much more robust systems. But having said all of that, there is of course for every rule an exception to break it. And in this case, this is because absolute non-relative indicators can still sometimes be extremely useful to algo traders. And a great example that comes to mind is the ability to set a volatility based stop loss. Now here, of course, the stop loss that you're setting will be relative to the price of the instrument and therefore also relative to the absolute volatility of that price. And so for this, the standard ATR indicator is perfect. Let me show you a quick example. Let's say we're going to trade this instrument long, so we need to set our stop loss below the price, as you can see here. So when using a volatility based stop loss, we need to look at what the current price is. We can use the ATR to give us an indication of the volatility. And if we're using a rule, for example, that sets the stop loss at three ATRs away from the price, then that can easily be calculated as shown here. So this allows us to set an appropriate limit for each asset that we're trading in our multi-symbol EA. And the value of this can still be optimized. This is really important. And the reason it can still be optimized is because you're not going to optimize on the value of the ATR. You're going to optimize on the multiple of this. So in this case, we've used three in the example, but you could still now optimize on one, two, three, four, and various different values to work out what the best volatility stop is. 
And this, of course, would work across any assets with any different prices. Now, in the next episode, I'm going to start to look at different techniques you can use with indicators in order to find the optimal way of using those to exploit your edge. But in the meantime, if you're not already familiar with DarwinX, then just click on the link here at the bottom and this will provide you with information about why it's so beneficial for traders to come onto the DarwinX platform. And so, as always, if you can share and give me a thumbs up, that's always very much appreciated. And so now, until next time, trade safe.